Ghanaians, come forward, forward, forward. Nigeria has done it again. They don't humble Buna again. You know, since this year started, it's like Nigeria had a... Uh, the, the Nigeria decided that, you know, they will completely run Ghana, take over Ghana. You know, from the president to their universities, to their banks, to their institutions, and so many others. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this video, but I am, I am overwhelmed to actually see what is going on. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If Nigerians move out of Ghana as you people want them out, Ghana will be left with a village. I'm telling you, guys, quote me anyway, mark my word. If all the old Nigerians will take Ghana park and leave, the, the what will remain, the, the rest will become a village, uncivilized village. You see exactly what happened with that, that event, eh? where there were no Nigerians or foreigners to give them a vibe, to make it look like a real thing. That's how Ghana will look in case Nigerians leave that country. Now, what did they inspire me to do this video? What is pushing me to do this video? If you see what you want Nigeria to do, she's currently trending all over the place. I remember back in the days when I was doing videos saying that the best professors in Ghana, the best teachers in Ghana, the best lecturers in Ghana are Nigerians. People can't argue me. Now, evidence is coming out. There was a time one, one Nigerian graduated in the University of Ghana clearing all the records. This guy graduated in the University of Ghana, the youngest guy. He cleared all the records in the history of the University of Ghana. You understand? And Ghanaians started claiming that the guy is a Ghanaian. The guy is a Ghanaian. And the internet everywhere clearly, and even the guy clearly said, I'm a Nigerian. So you realize that even to the extent of the students, some of the brightest students in Ghana are Nigerian students who have gone to study in Ghana. I still have a friend of mine in Germany today. He was a teacher in Ghana. This guy narrated me the story of him teaching in Ghana, the reality of Nigerian teaching in Ghana. You know, the hard subjects in Nigeria. You go to Ghanaian schools, Ghanaian universities. Go and check the best mathematics teachers, Nigerians. Go and check the best physics teachers, Nigerians. Go and check the best chemistry teachers, Nigerians. Teachers that bring innovation into teaching practice, Nigerians. They are just doing so well. They are the ones helping the Ghana education system. You understand? I have every right to speak now because I have evidence. Proof don't come out. One way big pass Ghanaians to argue don't come out. They cannot argue this one now. There's absolutely no how they can argue this one. So before I start breaking the news down and telling you guys exactly what is going on, I want to make Ghanaians understand that this is not a challenge. Oh, I know they try to insult on our back. I just they try to make Ghanaians, may they see something really important. May they reason this thing in another way. Because Ghanaians have the tendency of always looking at Nigeria as a competition, as a challenger, as, you know, not be wrong, it would not be query. You understand? But if they can learn to see Nigerians as partners, as people who love them, care about them, support them, and are willing to push them, willing to, you know, humble themselves, bring them themselves, work with Ghana, and see how Ghana can win together with Nigeria. If Ghanaians continue, you know, look at Nigeria in that way, it will be better for them. It will be far better for them. You can clearly see what happens to your movie industry when you make mouth, back, 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 Nigeria's pack come out. What is left in the music, in the, in the movie industry? What is left? So, in the education sector, now not go make that back, back, back mouth a beg. Since you people have discovered that Ni working with Nigerians is bringing out the best in Ghanaian universities, is bringing out the best in Ghanaian education, kindly continue working with them. Because if you bring that your movie back, 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 and they pack out, you will be left with, you know, like South Africa now. I did a video telling you guys there are do you know that there are universities in south africa with entire faculty all nigerian lecturers the faculty of education in one of south africa's university top south african university all the lecturers from the head of department to all lecturers in the faculty of education are nigerians no south african lecturer 
So this is, people have to be careful when they are making this mouth against Nigerians because they don't know what it will happen, what will happen to them. It will cost you everything by the time these Nigerians pack out. You understand? So why am I telling Ghanaians to humble themselves? Why? Make I show now something. So a Nigerian lady just created a shocking record, becoming the first female math professor in Ghana. Nigerian woman becomes the first female mathematics professor in the University of Ghana. Since Ghana is existing, they have never had a female mathematics professor. Nigerians, I hope when they hear me, well, I know it, <laughs> I know it goes sound funny because Nigeria cannot imagine how many female professors in mathematics Nigeria gets, how many female professors in physics, how many female professors in... So, basically, Nigeria has just given Ghana their first ever female mathematics professor. Ghanaians. I, I want to see you guys jubilating and celebrating, writing letters to say thank you, Nigeria. Without Nigeria now, when they say countries with female professors in mathematics come out, what will you guys do? <laughs> you guys that make math, what will you do? Bring out your mathematics female professor. You people will stand and be looking at places. Hmm? So, Ghana. Yes, this is a sweet story. I want to give you guys a little bit of background about the woman, how she became a female mathematics professor in the University of Ghana, you know, all her palmares. We have to give her her flowers because she deserves it. You know, she has done a great thing. She has liberated Ghana from serious wutu wutu disgrace. Mm -hmm. So her name is Dr. Peace Ngozi Ogbogbo. Hmm. I don't even need to talk about her origin, where she comes from, because her name alone explains where she's coming from. So in case Ghanaians were trying to argue and claim this one now that, oh, she's not a Nigerian, she's a Ghanaian, then they will have to change her name. Because we all know who, where Ngozi comes from. Hmm? Which part of Nigeria is Gen Ngozi? How am I to carry Ngozi Ghana? None of you carry Ngozi now. So peace, Dr. Peace, let me put some respect on her name. Dr. Peace Ngozi Obo Bo becomes the first woman professor in Ghana University. She's a professor of mathematical sciences, first ever that Ghana has received in that prestigious university. The University of Ghana is the number one. You understand? It's like Unilag, University of Lagos. You understand? Those are top, top tier, where some special students only go to. So, Dr. Charles Peace Ngozi Obongbo is an Igbo woman, you understand, and has made history by becoming the first female professor in mathematical sciences at the University of Ghana. She was promoted to the rank of associate professor in applied mathematics, a milestone achieved 77 years after the establishment was created. So, the Ghana University was established in 1948. Yes, the University of Ghana was created in 1948. And since the university was created, no woman has become a professor in mathematics, applied mathematical science. This is where they do terrible math. Math will give you a headache. Ghana, no if you get woman, we go rich. So we don't blame them. Mathematics is hard. Mathematics is not for the weak. You understand? Yes, when it comes to math and applied physics at the level of the university, professor, no, no. Nah. You have to be Albert Einstein. You have to be like Nikola Tesla. You have to be great to achieve those ranks. And you will know that women, women usually don't have a, a lot of passion for such field. That's why she's making history. That's why she's her name is a big name now in Ghana. Ghanaian should be singing her names in a song, chanting her name and celebrating that Nigeria has liberated and saved Ghana from, uh, you know, 
lack of female professors in mathematics. Yes. So the promotion details goes as follows. The University Council approved her promotion, you know, just recently, recognizing her as an exceptional scholarly contribution, leadership, and commitment to academic excellence in mathematics. So as you can see, Dr. Ogbongbo's research spans applied mathematics, financial mathematics, stochastic analysis, and mathematical modeling with notable publications like Solutions to Nonlinear Wave, Evolution of Equations by Direct Algebraic Method in 2023. So this woman don't scatter people's head. Oh, just as I read this thing now, my head they blow up. Oh, my head they swell up because she is that intelligent and that smart. So her academic background, she holds a bachelor's degree, you know, from Abia State University. Abia State, when I did there. <laughs> so she had a degree in Abia State, yeah, uh, and then, you know, multiple degrees from there in the University of Ibadan, Ibadan, one of the best universities in Nigeria, you know, and multiple degrees from the University of Ibadan, including a PhD in mathematics. And of course, she has led her way to the top and the very top of the 1% in the world when it comes to education because her achievement is comparable to none becoming the first female mathematics professor in the University of Ghana. You know, Ghanaians got to humble themselves on this one because this one, this one is big. This one is loud. Yeah, we can only celebrate. And of course, like I said, Ghanaians, this is not a challenge, but this is a moment for Ghana to genuinely look and see how much value Nigeria is adding to Ghana. No, ask yourself as a Ghanaian. How much value is Nigeria adding to your country? Like I said in the beginning of the video, check different sectors. Check the movie industry, check the music industry, check the education, check the banking sector. Check even your president, how Nigeria contributed to him becoming who he is. Today, Ghanaians celebrate him as the Messiah. You know, just appreciate what Nigerians have done for you guys. Because, you know, they will probably do more. It is what it is. Your boy, Ajim Maxi, on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free, guys, because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheers.